Earlier this year, we spoke with the North Dakota Petroleum Council members and members of the EDC and a few oil companies about the Bakken Grow program. They were excited to announce that Ukrainian immigrants would be joining their team this summer. Haley Burchett met up with a few of them to talk about their experiences so far in North Dakota. These four hardworking gentlemen haven't been in North Dakota very long, but at Sand Pro, they fit right in. Getting a new job can feel overwhelming. Not to mention moving to a new country or relocating. For the new workers at Sand Pro, the experience so far has been a good one thanks to their team. This company is a friendly team. Some of them said that North Dakota is beautiful and that they like the small town feeling. I like you. Really liked. Nice people, very nice. Vice President and co owner of Sandpro said that he's realizing the true potential of this program. Have you guys been to the automation shop yet? And what it can do for North Dakota now that the Ukrainians have arrived. It's very special. It really is. Um, uh, you know, Ron Ness, uh, the president of the NDPC, he says it best. Um, we need them and they need us at this time, you know, because there's obviously a lot of atrocities going on in Ukraine and give them the chance to, to, to come over here and make some money to send back to their families. It's, it's very special. All of the men get along great and fit in naturally with the rest of the San Pro family leadership shared with me that they have a difficult time taking time off. They are hardworking, reliable, and a great fit so far. They are staying in Minot right now until a better housing situation is established, fostering a great professional partnership through mutual need. Housing and transportation are still in the works, but for now, these guys are calling North Dakota home. In Berthold, I'm Haley Burchett reporting for your news leader. Blackaby says they still need sponsors to help make the Ukrainians transition more comfortable. They need financial assistance for things like transportation, lodging costs and more.